Mario slash uh, uh, Snake is going to be coming out. I think it's going to be a hard body Greninja versus Sonic for the next potentially five games. And then we are ready to start the other side of loser's quarters here at Just Roll with a 13. Mm -hmm. New, uh, I almost said New York. I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> North Carolina yeah. versus Georgia. Let's get it. All right, coming in. Once again, kind of feeling each other out in the beginning. A lot of the players for this top eight are, um, they play pretty uh, uh, careful and thought through neutral. So right. They have to figure these things out first. Okay. I've, I've already seen two F tilts connect from Don this set. I don't know if that's like <laughs> Greninja tech against this character because like Sonic has these really weird like, he's not fully like full on trying to land, but when he's not directly on the ground, he, yeah. it's very like rough for him trying to like right. throw something out to cover himself. But that F tilt, pretty good range. Just yeah. quick little poke. That F tilt, it's the gap filler. It's the, right. I don't have any other moves that really do this, so. Well, I'm going to solve that after a little quick. And good way on the spot right there. Moves forward just a tiny bit so you can easily get that down to up smash. And Don is up big right now. But can you get past this F smash? The giant fist. <laughs> All right, get past it again. I thought it was coming out again because it always comes yep, out a second yep. time. Like that, that move is legitimately scary. Yep. All right. Nice, All right, yeah. No tech on the spring, but it won't worry too much. And he delays the recovery just a tiny bit, goes uh, horizontally and then diagonally up like you just saw right there. Mm -hmm. Just avoiding that uh, Sonic S smash. Now, Sunito, ever since uh, Don took that first wow. stock, it's kind of just been in him and the ledge for the uh, the rest of the game for the most part. Yep. Whether he's been directly there trying to F-Smash uh, Don Quavius, or he's been there by the fault of Don Quavius, but he's yep. finally going to get that back air, and we have an even game here. Only 30% separating. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Sunito uh, kind of stopping after the cross-up. Now, it's worth noting that Greninja has some of the worst out-of-shield options in the entire game. Yeah, so uh, when he's got uh, approximately zero options yeah, out-of-shield, exactly, actually. Exactly, yeah. Up Smash is terrible. His short hop goes too high, so he can't hit standing characters with his aerials, you know, besides forward air and air, which are way, way too slow. They're right. like 20-frame aerials, roughly, you know, depending on what you're talking about. But um, uh, in other words, Sinodo, Sinodo can cross up Duncravius' shield, and there's not much Duncravius can do about it other than footstool. I really hope they can't hear them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I'm not, they probably can, <laughs> but it just comes out random. Like, yeah, if you guys hear, hear the buzzer in the background, that's some uh, soccer going on. Yeah, we had, we, had, we had an indoor sports venue. This, yeah. is, this is clean. I like this place. It's a great venue. They don't know they'll get smoked in volleyball, though. They might have to find it the hard way later, <laughs> but we're, we're here in top eight right now. We, we commentated for you guys. All right, that grab from Don Craves is going to get Sinido off stage in a very close game here. Two stocks apiece, uh, mm -hmm. both of the, the red percent right about now, and now it is is about you know prime time for looking for those kill options if you're either one of them. That forward is going to get Sinido off stage. He spin charges back to the ledge right here, but what is he going to do to get back to center? Spin, probably, you know. Mm -hmm, yeah, probably, probably. And that forward is stale. It still kills Ooh. from you know, almost center stage. So Don Quavis will, will definitely take that. Okay. Yeah, it's Nito going in right now, using that ground speed to the fullest. Nice. Oh, nice little reset, and then the F-Tool just to get him off stage. Yep. All right, dash tactic has to regular get up. 36 pounds Sunito right now. That good parry into the F-Tool, and then runs full stage and drops the drop down forward air. It's good stuff. Yeah. That is the fastest thing alive, after all. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. Nice. Up throw up air. Dunkley has to jump out to stop himself from taking more damage, but now he's at the ledge. That get up is going to help his case a little bit, though. Okay, trying to stop him with an air. That homing attack, man. But yeah. we, we can say some things about that homing attack. The radius, the speed, yeah. the, the power it gets at, at that high charge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, oh, man, it, it's probably going to be super clutch in this set. Just because it, it just adds another. It's okay, close, no, that's a lot of damage. A lot yep. of damage, though. But it just adds another layer of things that Don can't really do anything about if Sunito's pressure him, right? Because we right. talk about Greninja's out of shield options not being there at all. Not poor, just not there. Right, exactly. So if yeah. you pop that homing attack, unless you get like a good parry punish, you kind of just have to let that one go. And Ooh. that was a super good catch. Yeah, that's Amazing great. Amazing catch, actually. That forward arrow. Yeah. <laughs> he's <just> so <laughs> freaking cute, dude. I mean, look, you see what he's doing, man. You see what he's doing out here. Cutie alert 2.0. Who, who you know that plays Greninja like this? I know about zero people who make Greninja yeah. like this. I know two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the game two coming up. All right. Um, so, so I don't think there was anything that stagely prevented Zenito from being able to do. Yeah. It just yeah. kind of seemed like when Don was playing, he wasn't. And that's just kind of how, you know, playing against Ninja goes, right? He's exactly. a very much a shutdown character. 
Yeah. Uh, the stage that you go to won't really affect too many things, but mm -hmm. I do like Town and City giving him more places to escape to, potentially. Plus, you yep. get that FD transformation approximately 32% of the time. It's FD, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I like the pick. Yeah. Okay, the down throw. Looking for an air dodge or something. All right, now they're both just looking for something. The, yep. the feel-out the feel uh, feel stage is left, and that is what you were talking about earlier. The uncharged water shuriken stopping spin dash. And if it stops spin dash, I know it stops spin charge. Yeah, that, yeah, because that's on weak. Now, can you be the one person to explain the difference? Uh, okay, so spin dash is invincible on the hop. Okay. And that is the primary option that Sonics are going to be trying to use when they are trying to stop you from jumping in on them or just yeah. like, you know, running at them in general. Yeah. Spin charge, no hop at the beginning. It glows yellow instead of purple, I believe. Okay. I could have got the colors mixed up, but you'll know when you see it. Yeah, yeah. And the primary use of spin charge is trying to, you know, rack up damage in tech case situations, okay. trying to set up these cute little offset situations that uh, Cindy has been pulling off on, on people pretty much the whole weekend in bracket. Yeah. So. All right. Now that it's been explained to me, I'll promptly forget it because those moves look identical. They do. <laughs> what makes it a little easier is looking yeah. for the hop if he's True. on the ground and True. just look for the color as he's spinning. Right. It's yeah. different. Okay, okay. All right. And the first stock being taken by Sunito. Strong stock here. All right. Gets that 11 with the homing attack. Ooh. Oh, Nair into forward air gets Sonic off stage. Oh, wait, what's going to happen here? Sonido is going to spin back, but makes it look like he's spinning back to center stage, jumps back, and then actually spins to center, catching the Quibi's way off guard. Okay, spot dodge through the, uh, the spin dash there. All right, rapid jab is going to put some damage. All right. All right. I like that. I like the little, the little spin charge hop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was spin charge. It, was it had a yellow trail. Okay, okay. And this one has a blue trail. Okay. I'm going to try and see it. <laughs> Let me see. But it, it's way easier just to look for the hop. If, right. he, if he hops, yeah. it's been I can dash. see that one, yeah. yeah. All right, this is a little water shirt kind of right there. Oh, oh man, no. Uh, oh, wait, no, air dodge up? Oh, no. he, already, he already did air dodge, didn't he? Wow. I totally forgot. Yeah, that, that was the best thing that could have happened for Dunk Quavius right there, that Hydro Pump throwing Sinido under the stage after he already used all of his resources. Yep. <laughs> 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 the crowd's cracking me up. All right. All right, that Nair just immediately rolling behind Sonic. Ooh, and Sonic F-Tilt doing what it does, dropping halfway through. Yup, every time. What? Ooh, okay. okay. I'd, be, I'd be mad personally, but I'm alive, so it's okay. Yep. It's all right, we're back We're back at the stage. The worst has oh, not happened. We're, we're, back we're looking at alert. Don right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's popping off the that, Don that, wor that worked out so much better than it should have. <laughs> oh, double oh. up there? Oh, God. let's go! And it worked. Wow, that's that Don, the power. That Don came into the double up air for the stock. Yeah, powerful, yeah. super, super powerful. Okay, and that's the first shadow sneak through the ledge of that stock. I want all the Wi-Fi Greninjas to view that. What? Yeah, no, that offline, what? offline, <laughs> that goes from being a legitimate part of a matchup to just being like a coupon you redeem at a at a supermarket. Right. Only good once. Yep, exactly. But, but you can count on it working that one time. Yep, yep. But now that it's been shown, good tech, you're not really going to get it too often. That back throw is going to do it at 160. And now we are even Stevens right now, 0% to 22, but Sonic can make that up no problem. Yeah. Speaking of the devil, I'm at, I'm at 43. I'm, I'm calling the cops. 43 off that. All right. Nice little spin dash faker right there, immediately going to that downer just to make Dunquavius think about the option of spin dash and then just holding your ground. There we go. All right. Sunito just throwing out these spin dashes and spin charges, catching the Goibius trying to throw out these buttons right now. And he's tacking on some good damage, but not enough damage because Don is right behind him. Only 18% difference right now, mm -hmm. but a little more of a difference right there, 32%. All right. Trying to get back to the stage. You can you can just tell Don is just so wary that up smash is coming out at any moment oh, because yeah. that, that move will spell certain doom. Right, Downer not going to get punished. Dunkwave is just jumping over that spin charge smartly, just not trying to do anything crazy with it. And I honestly, I like that. Yeah. Just he, Sonido knows how dangerous Greninja is in these late game tech situations. He said, I'm not even going to be there. I'm going to spring above the platform and just land naturally. Yeah. Oh my oh, God. Close. Oh, that was almost it. All right, that was almost 2-0 right now, but if Sunito can find a way to make this a 1-1 set, huge momentum shift because Don literally had the game in his hands, you yep. feel like. And if you take this game right now, you can switch the entire move of the set. 
Runs towards the ledge, try to make him pick something, but Don Quavo is staying patient. Staying so patient, he's looking for that down so he knows exactly what he wants, and he knows who he wants. And Ooh. the attack cancel back air, game two on the board. And there we're looking at a potential 3-0 from Don Quavius here yeah. in Losers' Quarters. Wow. And yeah, that's uh, the, the classic mix-up there is if you DI out on forward throw, you die from forward throw. Right. If you DI in on down throw, you die from down throw back air, right? So, wow. <laughs> hmm. So much work. He's thinking. He's, he be he's, thinking. He's, he's, he's thanking people. Megamind over here. And it, it's just it's a tough situation you just uh, laid out for us because um, you said if you hold out forward to yeah. not get comboed by down throw, it's like well I just I may have lost my stock just now. Yep. Um, the only thing you can really do is like wait for the animation to come out and then fix your DI like like DI for the fast throw and then fix the DI when the slow throw comes out. Yeah. That, that's like the most you can do. Yeah. That's but they're the best both pretty fast. They're, yeah. They're a little. They're like on the edge there for you. Yeah. 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 Here we go. All right, we're good. All right. All right, so now we are back on Town & City for game three, and Sunido is up big to start, but we have seen Don Quavius kind of make these little mini comebacks in between stocks. Sonic does a whole lot of damage, and it, it is like, it's piercing damage. Like, you get yeah. hit and it hurts. So you kind of have to make that up as you go along. Um, but he's been doing a good job of doing so. So if Sunido isn't able to wrap the stock without taking too much more punishment, you can see a repeat of all the other stocks before it. Oh, that beer verse just got him out of the way of that backer. That was beautiful. Yep. Oh, no, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's yep. fine. It, it looks very scary it just does. because of how fast he flies down. But, like, Sonic's always fine. Yeah. And yeah. I kind of wish he wasn't always fine because <laughs> that means he's coming back. But, hey. That's how it goes. Yeah, what can you do? Ooh, oh, that was a godlike pivot grab. Are you great. kidding me? Yeah, yeah that, that's exactly what Sunido needed. Caught the chase in, and now Sunido with a strong lead. I love seeing pivot grabs in the game just because they're so rare and you can't run through people. Yeah, but yeah. So when you actually do see them, it's like, let's go. Yeah. Popping off for grabs. Ooh, nice throw on. It, it, it was, I think that was a little too much patience. Kind of like played himself out because yeah. he, he saw the roll, but he still did the down tilt. But it doesn't matter. Only 44%. And we got that stock back off after the first stock that Sunido had. He probably feels gas. You did all that work mm -hmm, just to only mm -hmm. be at 44%. Yeah. That, that's a tough thing to deal with. All right, get up attack. The ledge in this game has been so different than the others. The ledge in the other ones felt like the match. Right? Yeah, right. Oh, oh, he it's so good. He keeps doing it. The spin dash into ledge. And then as soon as you get hit by the hop of it, you get popped like kind of up and behind him. Prime spot for that back air. It's yep. so good on the recoveries that don't really have any hitboxes on them. Or none hitboxes at all mm -hmm. in Greninja's case, you know? All right, up air into Nair. So much damage coming out from Sonic. And Don Quavis nice. hits that weak Nair into up smash, but it's not going to kill, but that forward Whoa. air is going to do it. And every time it feels like Sunido is able to amount any sort of a lead, Don has been able to really just clutch it out and bring the game back into reasonable measure. Like, you can't, you can't get a big lead on yeah. this game. No. This is not possible. All right. 74. Not quite big enough for Sunido to really close it out, you know. But, ooh, let's get a starter. Ooh, okay. You know, if you can finally get off this platform without taking any kind of damage. All right, good tack. And nice. the use of double jump when he jumps right into Sunido's arms. Oh, dude. You got to change your recovery now. You've seen the spin dash set up once. You just kind of have to change how you go about it, especially when you take into account how that spring has been able to really de uh, deter Don Clavis from going low. Sunido knows how to use his options to really make him play into his yep. his hands. Nice. Yep. Catches him with a strong back air. Yep. There is a difference in this game between strong and weak back air. It's not like Smash 4. <laughs> the storage game. Yo, down. hello? Yo, where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I found him. He's laying in the front of the stage right there. <laughs> I, lo <laughs> I love the cams on the crowd. It's so good. All right. All right, so now we're going into game four. Sunido finally on the board. Uh, honestly, um, I can only think back to all the times that Sunido, it seemed like he was up big, and then all of a sudden, like, as soon as you blink, Sunido is like, yeah. the lead is gone. Yeah. You know? Um, 
it's going to be a very drawn out type of set if Sunil is going to be able to bring this back. He can't really count on having any steamroll games, I feel like. Cause that's, yeah. If, if you would have had a steamroll game by now, I feel like game three would have been it, the way he took that first and second stock so early. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. never really saw a big lead, you know? Yeah. All right, and now Small Battlefield is going to be a great addition to the game for Greninja. The platforms are low enough that his up smash will you know, mostly consistently connect on him. See what he can do with it. All right, good forward right there. I, it's, it's, so, it's so juicy, man. You just hit that good forward air on someone's landing. Oh, yeah. Thank the Lord. <laughs> All right, good spin charge into the forward air right there. Going to get Don Quavius off stage. Zanito trying to figure out something, but the up air fails him critically. Ooh. Nice, and catching the jab. That's what I'm talking about with that, uh, you know, he was quote-unquote like minus for whiffing a move, but right. he knew when to mash out. Being minus is a mindset. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good parry. And then waits for the double jump to come out from Sunito, but Sunito finds it as a good way to get back onto the ground. Ooh, an ambitious F smash, but pretty safe when you're that far away, so... All right, down uh, to up smash, and with the small battlefield ceiling, that is most certainly going to be oh, it. Yeah. Don Quavius is up right now, but it is not a huge lead. You could lose that at any point in time. It could have been just them, but yeah. good job fixing that DI. 134. Oh, I like what Sunita's going for. Sunita's making a lot of, like, I, I totally get the reads, but not quite landing. And it just, I like the idea of just being aggressive against his recovery in general. Not yeah. really showing any sort of like respect to the idea of Shadow Sneak mm -hmm. because Don hasn't really been going for it. Right, so right. every time he's off, he's just like, all right, how can I make him pay for this Hydro Pump every exactly. time? Yep. All right, Don Throw just going to get him off stage, and we're probably going to see a more reserved play here. Oh, oh no, the spring. Okay. okay. Missed it. All right, Got now it. this game is basically even 0% yeah. to 6 on the second stock of each. 2-1 Don Quavis right now. If he's able to kind of pull away, get some momentum, he can serve him great in the later ends of this bracket. But Sunito, he wants to be the person at the end of the bracket instead. Exactly. Double up air. Ooh. Another up air on landing. He's probably going to get another one right Ooh. here. That's not going to do it with no rage, but this is good damage right here. 60 and still relatively untouched. Yeah. All nice. Right. Yep. Sunito getting started. I like that F tilt right there. Yeah. This kind of like Greninja likes to control these zones. For the most part, with mm -hmm. that forwarder, that's like the primary use of that move, unless he's like trying to, you know, assault you. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. throwing out that F tool, the long range Sonic move, just kind of like shows him, hey, bro, I, I could throw something in this space too. Look out. Yep. Nice. Catching the back dash. Dash check and a pops needle back up, and Sonic, he, he does not like to have to find a way back down to the ground, but that's exactly where Don wants him. The next time he gets up there, I fear for what could happen. Yeah. Don looking for that down tilt, you know, right at the prime down tilt up smash percent. All right, good job turning around with that jab right out of spin charge. All right, Ooh. one down tilt is not enough. It's just going to get grabbed. I, I love how patient these two are playing now. It's like such a, it's like a stark contrast wow. to how they've been playing earlier in the set. But they understand what's on the line here. They have no problem with sitting back, taking it a little slower. Wow. Okay, sour spot. I love, I love when Greninja stuff just does not work. Oh, <laughs> man. Ooh, good mm. job for Sunito getting out of there. That could have been a very deadly situation right there. Right. And it's got 25% on Quavius. Could be a little bit more, but that oh. forward air oh. is going to do it from full stage. He tries to shift his hurt box with that forward air, but it's not going to help him enough. And now we are at last stock situation. That homing attack comes back to hit Don Quavius. All right, dash attack into the back air. Nice reversal from Sunito. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Catches the jump. 49 to, 49 to 44. Sunito at the ledge. Don't waiting for something here. And he is fine with the letting Sunito spin back to the stage because mm -hmm. ultimately, if Sonic decides to spin dash, you forfeit all stage control. You could have had. Ooh, that is not, not going it. to be it. <gasps> oh, just barely missing. That's a couple frame difference. Okay, another chance for Sunito to get the kill. Ooh. Oh, ah, yeah, he, yeah. It, you know, yep. Grenin, it's just such an attractive option. You see someone standing at X range. You yep. have this burst option that's just so good to pop people up. You get yep. so much damage off of it. So even though the F-Smash was already in charging, it was like, well, what if I, no, sir, 
<laughs> Sir, stop was, right there. I was listening to him talk with uh, another Greninja, Greninja player uh, on the first day on phase one. Right? Mm -hmm. And they were talking about how they have this kind of shot clock in their head, right? Where after that, <laughs> that's done, they got to go. They got to throw out the dash attack. Nah, I, that's exactly what it feels like, too. You yeah. never see Greninja players stay in a place for too long just because you have so many options for getting around the stage, making yeah. sure you can pressure people's space, making them do what you want them to do. Yep. So I, I, I completely get what happened there with that dash attack, but... What it's ultimately going to be written in the book is, is uh, as rather, is um, that dash that cost him the game. Especially yep. when it came down to Exactly, it. yeah. I thought we got a lunch picnic again, bro. I got so scared. <laughs> it's, a, it's, just a very, it's just a very quiet right, music. Right. But um, game we'll five. Build. Yeah. Game five, small battlefield. Mm -hmm. And Don is pretty much continuing where he left off the last game. He's been doing good damage in chunks. This is, you know, he's been able to keep up with that sonic level damage he's been able to put out. Okay, oh, okay. 71 for both. Oh, nice. good parry. And then the F tool after he realizes what side the, uh, side Don Cuevas was on. Very yep. good stuff. All right, spin okay. charge up. Small little anti air right there. A nice little usage. And the yeah. forward smash is going to kiss Don Cuevas, pressing a button out of shield right there. Most likely jump. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So you need it with an early lead? Well, I say early. It's a minute in. Yeah. All right, going to the ledge right here. Don't quit swing for an option right here. And that homing attack is not what was on the menu at all. I guarantee it. All right. Spring back to the right platform. Don't is committing to that up smash. He's yeah. going to give Sunido an opportunity to get away. And now he's going to get his own damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a 50-50. And it, it's tough because every time you get out of that Greninja, like those weird 50 faces between like down throw and down tilt, it feels like right. you, you guessed right this one time, but it feels like that's not going to happen the next time, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. It feels like you're, you're just waiting to see the, the time on the clock go down to zero so your stock can be taken down. And that's that up here is going to do it. But 88%, that's a very good stock for Sunido. Very good stock. And but we've see, we seen these gaps be made up before by Don Quavia, so. Okay, wow, this is a tense situation. It is super tense. Don Quavia is at high percent, but it feels like both players are having to play by the skin of their teeth. All right, dude, he's not going to die just yet. And also, the last two times that Sunido has tried to go for the spin dash as yard that he got earlier, yep. Tex on both of them. So you're yep. gonna have to, he's going to have to find a new way to kind of get the stock off of Don Quavis when he goes to Hydro Pump. Oh, oh deep back here, deep back here, just for damage. He still has his jump, still has all his resources, but he has no resources here. We can make something big happen right now. Oh, that, and he made it back. Oh, that wow. back air, that, I feel like that was dual use. It made yep. Don Quavius think about what he wanted to do next, plus it gave him enough time to come out of the uh, the spring recovery and then air dodge back up. Good job taking that spring Whoa. so he can get back to the stage. Oh, God. If he tries to run in again, that pivot grab would have got him. That wow. hard nair. Look good damage. Hard forward air. Going to get seen to the all stage. Has the air dodge, Wait. and wow. he's in the lead. Let's go. Wow, in the early jump taken, waiting for that air dodge there. Unbelievable edge guard play from Don Quavius, and here we go. I want to remind everyone that when Don Quavius got the first stock off Sunido, he was at 88 yeah. on this stock. Yep. And he is still alive. He's still putting on damage, and now he is in the lead. Again, just closing the gap, that's been the name of the game for this kid the entire set. And now he's going to see if he can keep the stock on him just, just for him. Like, I, I want the stock. It's mine. You can't have it. Yeah. And we're seeing every time Sunido is trying to go in for the kill, Duncravius is dash back, dash back, and right. Oh, but he gets that there one. There we go, f -tilt. And we are, again, another game five, man. This top eight has been something crazy. Now Sunido's off stage, trying to get back to center. 62% on him. Duncravius is fine holding down center, and he's nice. fine with him spinning to him because, like I said earlier, if a Sonic player decides they want to spin dash or spin charge, they have forfeited stage control, and you are fine. Whoa. But this is so much damage coming out from Sunido. 52 off rip. Oh, my oh, God. Kissing the near startup. Yup. And now he is in the lead. Just a small little lead. But Sonic is a Whoa. big. He, he's a big proponent of turning small leads into big leads. He has to land. Whoa. Yo, that read. Yo, let's go. He stood under the left side of the platform. Sunido saw him and said, nah, forget all that. We're going this way. Put it put it in reverse. And Don Cuevas was ready with the charge up yep. smash to catch him the minute he came out the air dodge. 